Alright, hey, what's up guys? So, um, I haven't made a video in a while, and, um, I haven't picked up anything new lately, so my wife is gonna show you some shoes that she picked up over the last couple weeks that she hasn't worn yet. It's, um, her shoe haul for the last two weeks, so she got some new pickups, so here's what she's gonna show you. So, uh, first shoe is gonna be... The, uh, KD7 3500 Degree. Okay, so look at the shoe color. It says it's a little bit hard to read. Here's the shoe color for it. This is 3500 degree. Is that from okay. Foot Locker. Yeah. Let me take out the shoes. Okay. So that's the uh the, uh, 35,000 degree yeah, KD7? 30, KD7. Did so, I say 35,000? Uh, 35, <laughs> 35,000. Yeah, 35,000. 35,000 degree. degree. It's a KD7. So it's the kids version. It actually um, looked nice uh, in person. Okay, so what are your thoughts? Uh, I actually liked it. Uh, uh, I just grabbed a pair. I haven't get a chance to wear them yet. Okay. So, but I will. Uh, you just have to get to all wearing all your shoes first, <laughs> right? So um, that's a uh, KD7 35,000 degrees, and we're gonna sh we'll show you on feet later. But she's gonna go on to the next shoe and show you what else she got. This is the uh, retro 14 pink. Okay, so I'll show you the colorway real quick. Here's the. Uh... Of course, got it from Foot Locker. The colorway there is a metallic dark gray, hyper pink, black white. So you want to show the shoe? I didn't even. I just picked it up and grabbed it. I didn't even, you know. Don't need to try it on because she knows her size already. Yeah. So <laughs> we just go into the store and grab it. Yep. I didn't even actually open or anything. I was like, okay. Uh, she knew she wanted these immediately. Yep. Because uh, the 14 Thunder was extremely comfortable, right? Mm-hmm. And I actually play basketball in them, too. So, um, she got these. And, um, we didn't realize how comfortable the 14s were because, uh, this is, you know, uh, the, we were only able to recently grab a pair of the 14s because they haven't come out for a while. But, um, this is a really cool colorway. And uh, this is more girly for her, so um, she got that. And then she's on to the next shoe. This one, I actually got it on the Nike website. So this so. one went on sale. Mm -hmm. And uh, she picked it up on Nike. And this is the LeBron 11 grade school size. This is a uh, laser crimson turbo green black. And this is, uh, I believe, the superhero version. So she's gonna open the box and show you what she got. Yeah, I, uh, as you can see, I even even you know open and try it on or anything yet. I've been really busy working. Um, so. And this is the, uh, of course, the kids version of the elite um, superhero models. Um, so they're not going to have all the, the shiny color parts on it because they don't do that for the kids' versions. Right. <laughs> but, um, you know, it still looks pretty cool. Yeah. And with the flash, you can see the, uh, this kind of reflects a little bit, so. It's a pretty cool looking shoe still. Yeah. And the uh, LeBron 11 is a pretty comfortable shoe. I think the only one that I didn't get is the gray, um. What you call that? The gray something? Uh, I think it was like a 4th of July one or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's the only one that I don't have. But other than that, I, you know, most yeah. likely got all the, um, all the other ones. 11. Okay, so Here, let's move on that to one. The... And then the last shoe she picked up recently. This is the Retro 3 Wolf Gray. I got it at Finish Line. It was so simple, quick, and easy. Uh, okay. So, you know. 
I know my side on this one this is different from any other retro, so. Um, but I should try it on at the store just to make sure. Um, that it fits right. Yeah. So, but as you can see, um, the, uh... my other retro is five. The retro 14 is a five, and this uh, retro three, three, I wear size five and a half. Okay, so. Yeah, this so. is the uh, Wolf Gray mm -hmm. Retro 3 that just recently dropped this past weekend. Right. Um, I like the colorway. The colorway looks nice. And um, it's not like an OG colorway. Right. But, um, you know, it's different. Yeah, and I can't pass um, this on, so I just have to grab myself a pair. So we picked up a pair for her. And this is the uh, Wolf Gray Retro 3. Mm, okay. Alright, so that shows you the shoes and the boxes. Of her unboxing them. And then let me show you what I wear today because this is my first day wearing the um, it's the Kobe 9. Kobe 9. Elite. <laughs> yes. Kobe 9 Elite Gold. Mm -hmm. That she's wearing. It's actually comfortable, but um, I think they make this like a little bit loose every time when I walk. Um, you know, I guess. That front part's loose. Yeah, it's kind of loose right here. But other it's than that, weird. I like the colorway. Um, is it comfortable? It is, but when I walk, I guess I have small, I don't know, skinny foot or something, but, you know, there's like, you know, as you can see, there's like a lot of room right here. So when every time I walk, I can feel it. That there's a lot of room Yeah, in there. so it's not like, so it's not like real tight. hugging my foot or anything, so, okay. I mean. But it's comfortable otherwise? It is comfortable. It's actually comfortable, but, you know. So we're showing all the shoes, yeah. and then we're going to show on feet uh, what all the shoes look like. So, let me show you, actually, let me put this on first. Um, you know, like my last video, I was like, yeah, you know, I didn't quite like how they make changes. But when you actually see in person, you liked it. So to the Katie. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's it's true to size still. It doesn't change. Still uh, true to size. Yep. And it looks better in person than it does in the pictures. Exactly. So um, it's a comfortable shoe. Um, there's a lot more padding in there. Mm-hmm. It's more padding. Uh, it feels a little bit. I think it feels a little bit maybe heavier. Yeah. It is. Than the other ones. Right. So we'll show up close view of it on foot. So the front, back. Let me show you the bottom. Bottom. It's green. Bright green. Yeah, bright green color. It's just pretty cool looking. Yeah. I. And it's a uh, it's pinkish salmon looking color, mm -hmm. but it's still a cool colorway. Yeah. Um, it's not like the uh, Independence one, but uh, where simple white um, yeah. looking. But this one, is, I think the color pops a lot. It's like, well, it's going to stand out a lot. Yeah, it's <laughs> going to stand out a lot more. But hey. So that's what that yeah. one looks like on feet. So let me go on to the next one. Okay. The next shoe she's going to put on is the, uh, the Retro 14. Retro 14. Let me see. We she hasn't even worn these. Yet. Yeah, I didn't. I know my it's size. So um, <clears throat> these shoes have been out for a couple weeks now, and yeah, if you want they've to just been sitting time. there. So. so let me put them on. I think someone tried this on, right? Because it wasn't laid how manufacturer laid it. Uh, well, I know it doesn't I really try. matter yeah. because you know. Uh, they didn't really sell out, sell out, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, she was still able to get her size. It was real easy. We didn't have to do winning raffle tickets or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't have to wait in line. Yeah, we didn't have to worry or wake up early yeah. or anything like that to try and get any raffles. She was just able to go into the store and get it. But it looks pretty good on feet. Yeah, it is actually comfortable. Yeah, the Retro 14. the bottom. 
what the bottom looks like. I didn't even look at the bottom. Okay, here's the front. Wow, it is comfortable. Yeah, this is a very uh, comfortable shoe. It's got good padding on the inside of it. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably one you can actually wear walking around. Yeah. You know, for a while. For most Jordans, you can only wear it for a few hours and they start to, they start to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it looks like from the back. Okay, and then there's the other side. Alright, and yeah. this is a good looking shoe. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know. I probably will go back. I'm going to grab another pair, just, you know. Uh, to play in. <laughs> yeah, so. Keep this if, one clean. Yeah, if I play basketball in this one, you know, I still get another one. To wear. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's what the uh, Retro 14 uh, pink one looks like on feet. Right. And then she's going to show you what the uh, LeBron superheroes look like. Now, all the LeBron 11s, I feel like they're a pretty comfortable shoe. They are. Um, and um, probably even the gray school has uh, pretty good padding on yeah, the inside of it to uh, even, be comfortable. Yeah, I even tried these playing basketball on them, and they're actually comfortable. It's not too bad. Yeah, I didn't realize um, this had green on the bottom like that. Oh yeah, huh? Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that this shoe actually was green on the bottom, so... I don't have this shoe myself, but, um, you know, like I said, all the elite and adult, adult sizes are like 200 almost $300, so... It's a little bit more difficult to actually get the elite versions of these shoes. Right. Two of my shoes, you go with one new real pair, so... Yeah, so it's a lot more expensive. But... It's still a cool looking shoe even without the uh, shiny metallic um, things like the adult version has. But, um, you know, they should have came with the shiny parts of it, you know, like the adult version. Um, they probably could have increased the price a little bit more even still to cover the difference for that. But, you know, that's their decision of course, but that's what... The uh, superhero LeBrons look like. Here's the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the bottom of the shoe. It looks like it's kind of greenish, but it's also clear, kind of also. So it's. It's actually look nice though. Yeah, yeah it's but... pretty clear. Yeah, so this is the front. Uh -huh. And let me show you. Okay, so she's gonna. That's the front. There's the side. Yeah. Inside of the shoe. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it doesn't have the shiny metallic parts like the uh, adult version, yeah. but um, it still looks, you know, like a good shoe, so, you know, I think the LeBrons are worth it. It's so worth it. They're comfortable. Yeah. It's a comfortable shoe. Yeah. Um, you probably wear them mostly every day mm -hmm. uh, to walk around in. Yeah, I still need and, to wear them. Yeah, you don't have too. to wear them, yeah. <laughs> they haven't been wearing it. Yeah, so there's still a bunch of shoes she hasn't gotten to wear yet. Yeah, I just picked it up. I mean, if I like the shoes, I just picked it up. Yeah, so... So, I mean, simple as that. Of course, uh, you've seen her whole collection, if you've seen her other video. And um, all four of these shoes are um, all brand new. Yeah. Still, I mean, haven't even worn them yet, so... <clears throat> She's not gonna put on the uh, wolf gray, which is this is this is a good colorway. Yeah. Um, I would have picked it up myself as well, but I have a lot of threes um, that I haven't even gotten to wear yet. So uh, I decided to pass on this colorway because uh, I'm trying to wait for some other um, releases that are coming out in the future. But here's what the uh, wolf gray looks like on feet. Here it is. So here's the front. And of course, you know, Retro 3 is a classic shoe, so you can't go wrong with Retro 3s. Inside? Okay, that's the inside of the shoe. Mm -hmm. I like how the elephant print around the shoes. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really nice. And the bottom of the sole of the shoe is actually kind of clearish. It's not like a, you know, solid color. It's actually kind of clear, see-through. 
Here's the side. On this other side. And the here's the back. And here's the bottom. So you can see it's kind of clear. It's not um completely solid like the most retro threes. Yeah. So, like I said, this colorway is actually a good colorway. Mm -hmm. You know, they haven't sold out yet, so I'm pretty sure everybody can go, go still pick up a pair. I, I mean, I, I like the Retro 3, the most comfortable shoes. Yeah, oh, uh, the Retros. The 9 is also comfortable. Yeah. But it's just that, you know, I... The Retro 3s you can kind of walk around in all day yeah, long. Yeah, all day. And not, not kill you. Yeah. But that's um, all her uh, shoes that she had picked up over the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, but then again, I still like the 35,000... <laughs> You know, degrees. <laughs> degree K D seven. You know, the colorway is awesome. It rock. I can wear it with any mm -hmm. you know and then the I don't need to wear like a matching you know but however it's cool colorway. Green and this is kinda like orange bit. It's like it's like pinkish. Pinkish. Oh. But I mean nice. The colorway is a good colorway. Yeah, this one is also nice too. It's a good colorway for, um, it's a girly colorway, so it's not like, uh, it's for, you know, only guys, you know, yeah. so she was able to get a 14 for that it's not like a guy. I think I can get it too, I mean. No, no guy's gonna wear it. Remember the retro 11 low top? Mm. The pink? I don't know. Guys can rock that, I'm sure guys can rock this too. Come on. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. But okay, so that so that's the fourteen and the three and the LeBron. Yeah. So Oh well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh rate, subscribe, uh hit that thumb button up if you like the video. Um thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening everyone. Thank you. Bye.